The launch of a new free-flow beehive in recent weeks has had investors swarming. The flow hive was created by two Northern Rivers backyard beekeepers who were determined to find a simpler way to harvest their honey. They ended up harvesting money as an online crowdfunding initiative took off with more than two million US dollars pledged. Here's Adrian Francis. Father and son Stuart and Cedar Anderson are honey hobbyists from the northern rivers of New South Wales. This slick and feel-good campaign of theirs is one of the latest crowdfunding success stories. Instead of applying for a bank loan or grant, crowdfunding allows people seeking money to post a description of their project and a fundraising target online. Sponsors can donate small amounts to help the project take flight and the crowdfunding website makes money through a levy on the total funds raised. In most cases, if the project fails to reach its target, the pledge amounts are cancelled and returned. And we really need your help to get the word out there, to build a buzz and build a community of beekeepers around the globe. Keeping bees in an entirely new way. If you'd like to support us, like our Facebook page, join our mailing list and stay in the loop. <laughs> the entrepreneurs chose this backyard in suburban Canberra to launch the public fundraising campaign to manufacture their breakthrough trademarked hive. No one seemed more surprised by the overwhelming interest they're receiving than the dazed inventors themselves. The father a former community worker and the son a paragliding pilot, musician and surfer. It's been so overwhelming the response we've gotten. I mean, to have 1.8 million people view our, our um, yeah. Facebook video, it's only been up for a week. It's, we've been snowballed by interest and every, every other second there's another email in the inbox. It's, it's um, I haven't slept for days. <laughs> Their invention is called a flow hive. It features a plastic inbuilt honey extractor. What we've done is created um, uh, a plastic, uh, you know, artificial honeycomb or, or, or matrix that the bees then build their wax honeycomb on. And with the manipulating of the lever on the outside of the hive, the honeycombs, which are all hexagonal cells like this, split like that. So instead of being a cell, it's now become a vertical channel. The honey will flow down those channels with, with the capping that the bees have put on, on the outside intact. Inside, the honey will flow down into a channel on the outside and out of the hive. It sounds so simple, but the breakthrough itself was far from it. You know, for us, um, the, the honey wasn't our breadwinner. So we don't come from the background of that having to be our commercial business. For us, it's, it was more about, I can't help but think there has to be a better way. Um, pulling the hive apart, disrupting the bees, uh, running across the paddock because you, the hive's angry and you've, you've forgotten your bee gloves. I'm a very, very lucky dad, you know, to, to work that closely with my son. I have three other children and I'm close with them as well. And I think every parent probably longs to feel that sort of sense of, I wonder if we could do more together, even just go to the movies. But I've been with Cedar day in, day out, working on this invention, our minds sparking off each other. I actually didn't once think of giving up. So Cedar and Stuart Anderson tinkered away together for a decade. First time we got a large amount of honey out of the hive. That was, that was down in the paddock where um, we're just there with the bees and a blue sky. And we've got this contraption inside the hive that we've rigged up and we've 3D printed different parts and We've got a, like a, a spanner on the outside to turn this mechanism and we hoped it would work. Our test showed that it should work and we turned the handle and we waited and then the first pour of fresh honey came out filling the jar. Oh, that was a moment. That was really something to, 
just go, we've done it. It's such a, a revolutionary way to get something out of the hive without having to open the hive up. So it's going to have a really good environmental feel about it, a, a feel-good factor. But it's also, from a beekeeper's point of view, it's such a, an unmessy way to extract honey and you don't need extracting equipment. All you need is a tube and a jar and you can get the honey out of the hive. You don't need to spend um, $400, $500 minimum to get extracting equipment and have honey spread throughout your house while you're trying to extract it. The feedback on social media ahead of the fundraising launch showed there was enormous interest among American backyard beekeepers. So at the 11th hour, Cedar and Stuart Anderson switched from a crowdfunding platform that only accepted Australian currency to a US site. That decision paid big dividends for the duo. The, the target was 70 grand and we reached it in two minutes. That's what we needed to manufacture and we're already there. Two minutes. And yeah. um, I'm in shock. I don't quite. Here's the it. crew ringing. It's, it's pretty exciting. <coughs> they need some more pledges up, don't they? They do. Within the first eight hours, more than 1.5 million US dollars poured in via this crowdfunding site, and the kitty continues to grow. We have to make sure we can we can deliver, so we, we have to add some more time to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really showcases the power of the community. Typically, crowdfunding has been used for software and other uh, IT-related products. And now that it's making a move into agriculture, is exceptional. We're probably going to see a lot more uh, agricultural-related crowdfunding projects that are going to make big changes in industries like beekeeping and even other kind of agricultural products. Raising money for a crowdfunding project relies heavily on trust and there are few safeguards to stop donors being ripped off. It's about launching this campaign on Indiegogo, it's about getting support, it's about unleashing this invention to the world of beekeepers in the hope that it will fascinate a lot more beekeepers, get beekeepers in touch with their bees more, um, enable people to harvest their honey in a way that doesn't disturb the hive so much. But other beekeepers strongly disagree, saying the invention is unnecessary, misleading and disruptive for bees. Critics have even dismissed it online as a drain hive. Stuart and Cedar Anderson acknowledge there is some resistance to their approach and initially their invention was dismissed by many as a fake. But they also maintain their invention isn't a silver bullet for harvesting honey meaning bees and hives still need very skilled and ongoing nursing. Because your beekeeper still has to care for the health of their hive, they still have to open it and be involved. In some ways you can be more in contact with your bees because of we've invented this um, clear window at the end of the hive rather than at the side, which is often there. Keeping out, yeah, there's slack beekeeping already. There's, there's people that just don't have the time to attend to their bees. Uh, that was, um, well, I've got plenty of examples of that. And um, so we think what we've invented will help people have the, the time to just observe and be with their bees and look after their health and not be just so consumed with the whole honey robbing process because that is so time consuming. Cedar and Stuart Anderson hope to begin flow hive manufacturing in Brisbane soon. And the mini moguls also plan to manufacture in America later this year. We'll still keep our, our manufacturing in Australia we really like the idea of making it Australian made and we'll continue to do that. But it doesn't make sense to be shipping a lot of product from Australia to America. It just makes it too expensive. It's, it's wonderful to think of not having to worry about money. I've been skidding along the bottom for a few years because I've been dedicating most of my time to this. And, um, you know, um, being rich isn't so important, but not having to worry about money is lovely.